Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a more in-depth look at message boxes. Now if you remember from two, two tutorials ago, we did the Windows Forms Hello World. And in that, we used a message box. Now I'm going to show you some more stuff that you can do with a message box. So let's go ahead and create a new project here we will select a Windows Forms application we will call it message boxes and we will just go ahead and click OK now we'll wait for that to load and we'll go ahead and shrink it down a bit and let's come up here to our toolbox and we will add a button now we will just make the button a bit bigger or here let's go ahead and just do this let's go ahead and dock it and make it fill the whole screen okay so let's set the text value for this button to show message box and then we'll change the name to button show message okay so now that we've designed a little window here, we'll go ahead and double click on so show message. We'll get the toolbox out of the way here and zoom in some. Now you can see here that we have our sub button show message underscore click. So now this is going to run whenever they click the button. So let's go ahead and type message box dot show and we'll type this is a bare message box. So that is the message box dot show that uses one argument in the parameters. Now we can use the message box dot show that uses two arguments in the parameters. Now in the first one, the, the single argument in here is the message that's going to show in the message box. And there is no title to it. So we'll make another one and we'll say this message has a title. We'll add a comma and we'll go on to our second argument which is the caption and we'll just set the caption to title now we'll create a third message box this message box will say we'll do message box dot show this has an icon we'll go on to our second argument set it to title or here comma we'll set our second argument to title and then now we have a third argument and you can see here that it says buttons as system.windows.forms.messageBox buttons now we're going to select we're going to go ahead and type message box and you can see here down in IntelliSense we've got message box buttons dot ok message box buttons dot ok cancel we've got retry cancel we got yes no and yes no cancel we're just going to go ahead and go with OK. And now we'll add another comma. And what we do here is we set the icon. And it's icon as system.windows.forms.messageBox icon. So we'll just type messageBox icon dot information. OK, so now if we run this. You can see you can see here is our form one, and if we go ahead and click on this, you can see we get one message box that says this is a bare message box, and now you can see that this is the only message box that has opened up, and when we call more than one message box after each other, it's going to wait for the first one to close, and then it's going to open the next one. So this is a bare message box, and then when when we click OK, it's going to open up the second one, and it says this message box has a title. And you can see right there that it says title. And now the third one, it says this has an icon. And it's got our information icon. And you probably didn't hear it, but coming from my speakers, there was the Windows um, default information sound. Now if you set it to error, you're going to get the error sound. Um, you can set, if you set it to warning, you're going to get the warning sound. Now I'll just click OK there, and we'll go ahead and exit out of our program. And now here's one more thing I wanted to cover with message boxes um, that the .NET, the people who created 
uh, Visual Basic added just to help developers out a little bit. So instead of having to type messagebox.show, which may take a while, you can just type message box and then your parameters. And now you can see if we go ahead and run this, let's go ahead and add a message for this. We'll just type message. Okay, so now if we go ahead and run this, we're going to click so, show message box. We got bear, the one with the title, the one with the icon, and if we click OK, we get another one that says message. And you can see that the default title uh, is message boxes. So whenever you type the shorthand version of showing a message box, the title is automatically going to be set to message boxes unless you override that by using the argument. Okay, so now that you guys have seen a look at message boxes, you can go ahead and make programs that will show message, message boxes when the user clicks on certain things. And um, once you've got that nailed down and you're not going to forget it, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.